Hey guys, it's Nikki, and we're back with our top five news stories of the week told to you in just three minutes or less. It's one action to immediately switch a channel from her animal cruelty commercials and another to listen to her sing the full Canadian anthem. Did you hear our northern neighbors are in talks of legalizing marijuana, eh? Which can mean a change in international drug policy. Since there are many countries and treaties involved in the war on drugs, there is a lot of talk about how this change could send a ripple effect through other developed countries. As Americans, we love to be number one, but in this case, we are more than happy to step down as number 43. As a nation, we managed to escape the top 10 countries with the biggest drinking problems. The list is as follows. Number 10, Colombia. Nine, Nui. Eight, Estonia. Seven, Belarus. Six, Latvia. Five, South Korea. Four, Lithuania. Three, Republic of Moldova. Two, Hungary and the number one country dealing with alcohol abuse goes to Russia. Amongst the list, the ratio of men with alcohol abuse problems was significantly higher than women. Males in South America are having a particularly hard time with their liquor. Well, male monkeys that is. I know what you're thinking, a monkey who faced alcohol addiction? Yes, it's true. Nicholas, a tufted capuchin monkey, entered a treatment center in Chile after he developed an alcohol addiction from being forced to drink alcohol by his abusive owners. He completed the program and is now in recovery. Something to think about when you need inspiration. If a monkey can do it, well then, anyone can reach long-term recovery. Right, Shia? Yes, you can! West Virginia, the state with the highest number of overdose deaths in the U.S., got a visit from Obama a few weeks back. He gave a speech that inspired a West Virginia man to call 911 and confess his drug stash and substance abuse problem to authorities who then came by and picked him up. No criminal charges were filed and he is now receiving treatment. Thanks, Obama. Thanks, Obama. Researchers at the University of Rochester have turned to the Holy Instagram to survey alcohol use and habits among teenagers. It's no surprise that millennials are more likely to be open about their drinking experiences via social sharing. The researchers found information that could be helpful to people who work with teenagers that are dealing with substance abuse issues. Listen kids, say no to selfies. And as promised, we rounded up the weekly news stories in three minutes or less. Let us know which was your favorite in the comment section below. Tune in next week for the trending topics of the moment. This is Nikki reporting for the Discovery House News, where you can discover your recovery. Thanks for watching.